Hi there, this is Paolo with Bark. Today we're gonna be talking about the foundations of using and navigating a Bark phone or Androids like the Bark phone. The Bark phone is a Samsung A13 with powerful tools under the hood that allow you to block features your child may not be ready for yet. Some settings you come across will be locked down, like hotspots, the Bark apps, and other small things, but for the most part, this will be just like any other Samsung phone. Let's start with the buttons on the outside of the phone. There's a side button that is used to turn the phone on and off. It also functions as a fingerprint sensor that you or your kid can configure for added lock screen security just like the latest iPhones have Touch ID for lock screens. The volume keys are a long vertical line near that power button just above. Unlike an iPhone, the Samsung A13 has a headphone jack, so any old headphone can be plugged in there uh, for Spotify or what have you. And lastly, the phone's charging port is a USB-C port. Not only can you use the USB-C cable for charging, you can also use it for data transfer, like plugging it into the port on the phone and then the other end into a computer. It'll act a little bit like a thumb drive where you can drag and drop files to or from the phone. And don't forget, any old USB charger or cable might not be the best for the phone. For the best long-term health of the battery, Samsung suggests using Samsung branded cables and chargers. When the phone is unlocked, your life raft when using an Android is the three button navigation at the bottom of the screen. The three lines here open the recently used apps. If you're familiar with computers, think of this like your computer taskbar where running apps are displayed. On the screen, you can swipe from left to right to quickly hop into a recently used app. You can also swipe up to close down that app that from running in the background. And don't worry, the Bark apps cannot be stopped in this way. Uh, the arrow button takes you back to the previous thing you were doing, and you can imagine that button will be used a lot. And last but not least, the square button takes you to the home screen. Think of the home screen just like a computer desktop, you know, where you can add shortcuts to apps, change the wallpaper, and that sort of thing. Your kid will have a ton of fun customizing their home screen. Before I go any further, I wanted to also show you some common gestures. So tapping and swiping are probably things you're familiar with. Swipe up, for example, to access the apps list from the home screen. You can see all the installed apps here, can also create folders, and can sort this screen by clicking the three dots here alphabetically, which I think is really helpful. In some instances, tapping and holding is another gesture that is helpful to know when using the Bark phone or other Androids. Tap and hold over an empty space on the home screen to bring up this wallpaper customization menu, for example. Another gesture that is helpful is the pinch gesture. By pinching big or small, you can zoom in and out of images uh, using that gesture. Just like over time, we've learned what the play button is on a DVD player or something like that, where it's like a triangle, I want you to learn some common buttons on Androids and other phones like them. The three dot menu or the three line menu, uh, they're sometimes known as the hamburger menu. These are your expand or more options buttons. There's also the eye icon. This usually represents information, meaning you get more details uh, on a particular topic or button. The gear icon usually represents settings. The pencil icon usually represents something you can edit. The floppy disk icon usually represents something you can save. The magnifying glass icon usually represents either a search feature or a zoom feature. When viewing a particular web page or file, like a photo, you might see this share icon as an option. Click on it, it'll open a menu of what apps you can share that thing to. Slide your finger from the top of the phone screen to access the quick access panel. Here you can quickly turn on and off the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Uh, you can even adjust the display brightness by uh, tapping and holding over that 
a bar with the sun on the bottom, and more. This quick access panel is just as helpful as the home button and the back button. Those are your navigational basics though. I'm hopeful that with this bit, you can get around the phone a little bit better or other Androids a little bit better. More videos coming up in the series are gonna include how to answer a phone call, how to add a contact, how to adjust common settings like the lock screen and more. Keep on checking back. If you have any additional questions in the meantime, don't hesitate to reach out to us at help at bark.us.